It's day four of week five. How are you doing? Uh, okay, that's super, that's super. I'm seeing that we are all doing well. And of course, if, uh, if you're not okay on your side, keep up some help because you will get better anyway. You will get better. So let's get started with today's stand-up. We are going to be sharing what's the progress with the group work we are doing. How is, um, how is your team performing? And also, do you have any blocker or challenges that you would like to talk about? We have Rahmet here with us, and she's going to be helping us. I mean, we can even be helping each other. If you know something that your colleague is asking about, please feel free just to share the answer like we always do. But also, Rahmet is here just in case um, we need her for some of the questions. So let's go ahead and raise our hands. You can raise your hand if you have anything to share with us. Progress, progress. All right, we have the first person on the queue. Can we have more people on the queue? Let's do it quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, we have the second person on the queue. Okay, as others are joining the queue, then Shamil, you can be starting. Okay, uh, thank you. So, uh, good morning, everyone. So, yesterday, uh, we actually almost uh, finish the data collection part like we have collected many data from websites and social medias so i think that would be a win for us uh, currently uh, we are planning to actually have a meeting uh, for today so that we can discuss on uh, what uh, what we have done for example we we have made the backend uh, with our teammates so that's also a good thing i think we'll be discussing the what we have done uh, lately so uh, today would be the day we we actually make uh, plans for the next tasks so for blockers, I think uh, currently I'm trying to, uh, this is personal, but I'm trying to move my core to the uh, to the AWS web server. So uh, if anyone or uh, the tutors could explain us to like, uh, why we should be needing that is it for uh, if we don't have more resources or like uh, so a, a little bit explain that okay good morning everyone so the AWS instance is given because Tinker is a GPU of the Jupyter notebook if your local notebook is working without uh, causing you an error saying it doesn't have the capacity to run some processing that you're doing, you can go ahead and move with the local host Jupyter. The AWS instance just has too much capacity and power to run modules, to, to do data processing. So it, it's given because it's, uh, it's, it's required for you guys to gather all this data. That's too much data. So when you process these data, your local Jupyter notebook might not handle it. So this is just to give you a better Jupyter GPU. So if you don't feel the need to it, you, you don't have to use it. Shamil, uh, is it like more clear now? Uh, yes, uh, but uh, uh, on the models part, like can you explain more on that? Yeah, uh, you're not you're not doing modeling right on this project. 
you're not yeah. comfortable with that one. It's just I'm telling you general information for AWS okay. instance on the future. When you run modeling, I, I, if you actually going to do fine tuning, you actually need AWS instance for future projects, not for this week. Uh, it will not, your local Jupyter notebook won't run the Jupyter notebook with this too much data. It will reject it. Okay, so, so it, it, it will be used for by us uh, moving forward? Yes, if moving forward, you will use it. Okay, thank you. That was good. So just it gives uh, more capacity. So if the data processing is causing an error, use the WS instance. That's it. Okay. So, uh, so uh, apologies. Uh, so, like, from my uh, current experience, ex scrapping uh, the web web uh, websites. So I'll, we have like I think two scripts: one for social media, one for the news website. So uh, the news from the news website, I think I'm not sure actually how. Let me check the actual minute. Okay, like it took like 17 or 16 minutes, I think. But the top is 10 minutes. It took 10 minutes to gather around 1,000 news with their contents. So sh can we say, like, uh, I'm actually uh, scraping one page, uh, one page of data. Like, it have, like, around 18 on average articles. So I think for two pages, it should be around 1,000. So when shall we say it's enough? So n now that we have uh, capability, like what well, like the uh, server the aws gpu server so can we just take it further like scrape um, until ten thousand, or when is it enough like when shall we say the, yeah the, i mean there is no limit that i'm gonna give you as much as you can try to scrape data based on your timeline just okay. plan yeah just uh, you don't you don't have to waste too much time scraping and then until the end of Saturday, but you're free to go as far as you can. Okay, okay, thank you. All right, uh, thanks, Rahmet, for that. We can proceed to Hillary. Okay, good morning. Um, so uh, we we managed to uh, start on the... uh, Hillary, you are muted. Okay, um, so uh, good morning again. Uh, so yesterday we 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 communicated and I started on dividing the tasks and uh, many many have worked on different parts. We started on front end uh, and also I was working mostly on API and uh, integrating Airflow and also trying to access AWS CRO. I can use that. And um, uh, for me, a challenge, uh, I don't have any blocker for now, uh, but uh, the, uh, so maybe just to just to ha highlight on what Abu Bakr was asking about the AWS, um, in in my opinion, I can say we can use it for storage uh, mostly because uh, since you are going to use maybe a, a storage for the scraping, we can uh, AWS you can you can maybe run MongoDB there or Postgres and then access on your pods since the server is accessible to each individual in the group and it's on it's one it's one instance so we can just share the same storage uh, instead of uh, each of us creating our own in our local machine so you can can have a shared storage there Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm done. 
Uh, okay, Hilary, uh, I have like what we have been doing was uh, host the like the Postgres the data on the render. So is it like necessary to migrate? Shall we actually migrate to the the AWS instance? So what we were currently were using is render for single data source. Like I t I thought it was enough. Uh, yeah, it's it's okay if if that is the case. Maybe if you have a lot of data, like so let's say ten GB. I don't know if render can can hold hold that much data, but if it is if it's too much, you can just make it and and have it there and access okay. different okay. ports. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. All right, thanks, Hilary, uh, for supporting. And uh, Shamil, I hope it's much more clear now. We can move to. Uh... Hello, good morning, everyone. I uh, hope you hear me clearly. Uh... Yes, we can. Good morning. Okay, good. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, another meeting. <laughs> uh since uh we need to uh to clarify something uh about uh scrubbing code and uh you hands uh explain explain it well so that was uh, a good part uh also we started the processing data but uh, started the code so it not uh good enough to, to process the data now. Uh, we will complete it today, uh, I hope. Uh, since yesterday we have some submissions, so we, we can uh, put uh, all all the work on the code. Uh, so that's all. Okay, amazing. Uh, keep it up on your side, Ahmed. Any challenge or blocker? Uh, for now, we don't have uh, any blockers, so okay. I hope things will be good. Yeah, I hope it progresses like that. Keep it up on your side. Uh, let's see more people who are ready to share. Can we hear from... Uh, yes, yeah, let's go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday, we were able to... Uh, discuss on our uh, respective uh, tasks, uh, and we uh, we, we all uh, have a progress on the, each task. So some we have our own. We we do divided uh, the tasks, so we are all pro we all are progressing. But my question is, or my our blocker is on the AWS part. Uh, um, Rahmat was. Uh, saying something earlier, I, I'm I'm not sure if I heard it clearly. But uh, are we using AWS to store the the data and share among the team members, or just for scraping the data? I don't know how uh, we should use the AWS instance. If there is a clarification on that, that would be great. So I'm I'm gonna leave this one to our worker in Hilary. Could you? share your understanding first, Hilary. OK, so what, one thing I understood is that you can use you can use it for scraping because uh, if it is if your your CPU don't, doesn't have like much capability speed and capability, you can uh, web scrape there. Also for storage, you can use it to store uh, your web scraping data and process it there. And each of you, each of you in the group, since they have the same access to the same machine, you can just access the same data instead of each of you like having uh, your own data on your local machine. So you can have it that way. And also, uh, I forgot to say like, uh, since we can we can deploy application mostly if you have a front end, we just access any everything in the front end. Maybe search the data. So in this case, we can build a, a Docker like 
we can build our applications with Docker, push them to Docker Hub, and, and then we can deploy them in the server. So in that case, uh, we can we can even run our application in the in the, in the AWS server. That is how we can host the application also. How can we uh, sh share the data using AWS? Is that uh, are we gonna use Postgres on uh, uh, AWS instance? Is that is, is it like that? Okay, so you're you're going to create uh, maybe Postgres and then it's running on pods. Uh, I forgot on fifty. Uh, okay, whatever port it's going to run in in the server. Each of you has the same access to the same it's the same machine. So uh, whoever is running SSH G5 uh, or uh, if you're in group five, five, you can do that and access the port to the Postgres. Put forward your your local ports to the port that is running Postgres, and in that way you can access Postgres in that machine. And yeah. Oh, oops. I, I think uh, I have something to start on. Thank you. Uh, is this a, a good idea? Uh, sorry for interruption. For storing the data in AWS, uh, since after this week, uh, we will not have access to it. Does this, does this mean we lost our data after cleaning and all this? Well, I think there there will be an option for you guys to save your data before that happens. So if you want the data, you can save it, you can download it. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry, maybe another thing. Some of our group, our, our group uh, members have difficulty uh, using the instance. Uh, we try to help each other, but uh, some of them have... Uh, are having problems and if yeah, yeah, I think I, they put slack if you can help. Yeah, I am saying they're having conversation with Nathaniel, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. You are on BTLM's group, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's the one who's able gonna who is going to fix the AWS instance error. So please contact him. And he's really is responding with your team from what I see on the chat. Okay, thank you. All right, Abraham uh, Tucker. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, about our team, uh, we're uh, doing good, I guess. Uh, we were able to scrape the data, from some demo data from Telegram, and from some new sites too. Um, and we're, we are able to initiate that from the part of the system. Uh, about our team, uh, uh, most of us are active and being helpful, but about uh, we are seven actually, and three of them haven't responded yet. That's Binya, uh, Jolie, and uh, Blaine. They are not being active, they haven't even responded as for text. Uh, but there is the rest of us are being uh, great, and uh, there's one broker that we have faced. Uh, we we're not able to uh, access the Jupyter Hub, even though we used our username. I think it might be uh, the same case. It might be our machine, since uh, me and Malak, my teammates, are facing the same issue. So, yeah. Uh, if, if I'm this issue. You're saying it's not, it's about the AWS instance, Abra? Yeah. It's yes, not yes. Yes, it's working. We could access the machine, but we are not able to log into the Docker Hub. I mean, uh, Anaconda Hub. Okay, could you tag Nat Nail? Make sure you contact him. Okay, uh, so he sure. has okay. access for instances, so he will be able to help you. Oh, yes, okay. Make sure to tag him, okay, on the Slack. Okay, okay. I'll mention him right now. Okay. So that's our progress. And they, they get it. All 
All right, Teka, uh, can we hear from more people? You can raise your hands. All right, uh, if not, then I can go and pick. How about Matthew Patrick? Good morning. Matthew Patrick, if also if you're not able to speak, you can let us know in the chat box. Uh, in the meantime, Yamusi, good morning. You can update us on uh, what's the progress in your group so far. Do you have any blocker? Anything you want to tell us? All right, sure. Uh, we can hear from you still. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Uh, so uh, yesterday, me and my team, we had a meeting, and uh, we tried to understand how Johannes uh, was scraping data from different sources. Also, uh, I was scraping data from uh, Facebook. And so we merged our code on the GitHub repository, and today I was able to access the AWS motion. Uh, so far, there is no blocker, and uh, I think we are focusing good as it is. That's it. <clears throat> All right, uh, keep it up with your group, Mr. Do you have anything you want to discuss about, or is everything okay for now? Uh, for now, everything is okay. Okay, that's great. Mahbuba? And then Gilbert. Mahbuba, good morning. Yeah, you can share in the chat box. Gilbert, how about you? All right, uh, I'm seeing people sharing in the chat box. So of course, keep it up. Uh, keep sharing. As if you cannot speak, please uh, share in the chat box instead. And then Daisy, good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm going to give an update for my group, group six. So, so far, uh, there's five of us who are, who are active and everyone has been participating and communicating. We've been having daily meetings and we've divided the tasks. So far we've, we have uh, scripts for scraping the data and I've also started the back end and the front end implementation. So today we are hoping to collect more data and then get started on pre-processing. Yeah, and also uh, some of us have accessed the machine yeah, that's it from for group six. Okay, that's super, Daisy. Keep it up with the group. Uh, then Gilbert, you're not able to connect to AWS. Can you open your mic and share us more? And if it's not possible for you to speak now, then please share on Slack so that we can know uh, how to support you. 
All right. Um, other than that, Rahmet, do you have any anything you want to say? Any announcement before we close? Yeah, just wanting any error that that like if an error happened with your instance, make sure to tag Nail. He has access for all your instances, so he will be quick to help you. Okay, so make sure to reach out to him, tag him on the Slack. All right, thank you so much for sharing that. Then uh, we are right on time with the stand up. If no one is leaving with any question, then we can call it a meeting and uh, we proceed with following everything we have on the schedule for today. All right, have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining.